keynote speaker for Fort Meade's Hispanic Heritage Month celebration, Colonel Irene Zopi, the commander of Strategic Intelligence Group at Boeing Air Force Base, gets the crowd going during her presentation this week at the McGill Training Center. We'll have a lot more from this week's event in a moment. It's also flu shot season again. We'll have details. And we'll return to the recently opened Wellness Center and unwrap the mystery that is the Healthy Chat Initiative. Hello, I'm Brian Spann and welcome to Mead Week. If you've been at the McGill Training Center on Wednesday, you could have picked up a great hat just like this one. The 704th Military Intelligence Brigade, along with the Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Employment Office, hosted this year's Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. The keynote speaker was Colonel Irene Zopi, Commander, Strategic Intelligence Group at Bowling Air Force Base and a native of Puerto Rico. As she related her experiences, she talked about how the Army provided her opportunities and the importance of grabbing them. You can have all the desire in the world, but you have to get the opportunity. The military gives you that opportunity. But sometimes we don't want that opportunity. We consider that opportunity to be a burden, a challenge, a risk. I don't want to do it now. I am OK where I'm at. But the reality is not that. The challenge is really an opportunity. And you got to knock. And the opportunity doesn't come to you. Guess what? Many times I will remember waiting. We're going to be a platoon leader. We're going to be a commander. Opportunity will come. And if it doesn't come, you go get it. Colonel Zopi also commented on a big part of this year's Hispanic Heritage Month theme, diversity. Diversity. Diversity is not made without adversity. Adversity is not a negative thing. It's actually a positive thing that not only encourages you, but also creates a proud moment within your life. You've got to turn any diversity that becomes an open door for you, and any issue that is a, an issue of adversity, turn it to a positive, never taking it personal. Diversity is every day in our life with everything that we do. It's not about race, it's not about ethnicity or language. It is about embracing each other's challenges. Whoa. After her remarks, the Colonel led the entire McGill Training Center and moving to the music. We'll close our show with more scenes from this week's celebration in a moment. Meanwhile, in a related story, Club Meet is offering salsa lessons starting October 2nd. The lessons are every Wednesday and Thursday from 7 to 8 p.m. For more information, just go to www.ftme.mwr. Dot com. Last week, we reported on the grand opening of the Army's newest wellness center right here at Fort Meade. It's the 16th center to open, and it's all part of the DOD-wide effort to improve service members' health and wellness. Not necessarily through treatment, but through prevention. But what is wellness? We asked Fort Meade Wellness Center Director Jamie Vallis. Wellness in general uh, has various models. So there's an eight dimensions of wellness, there's 11 dimensions of wellness. It really depends on you know the different category categories that fit into that. Um, so holistic wellness takes that wellness wheel, um, emotional, intellectual, occupational, physical, social, spiritual, mental, um, and looks at every aspect of that. So we can't only focus on working out or eating right. Um, we need to look at every aspect of the person to complete that picture. The Wellness Center offers an impressive slate of services, all of which are available to virtually the entire community, whether it's active duty service member, DOD civilian, family member or retiree. I mentioned the metabolic appointment as well as the body composition, but uh, we also have fitness assessments um, and biofeedback sessions that focus on stress management. So um, those are a couple of the other appointments that people could make here at the Army Wellness Center. There are multiple ways to access the facility, whether you contact them directly or you get a referral from your physician. Whatever the case, the center is here for the entire community. And we're integrated with primary care uh, here at Fort Meade, uh, as well as we're standardized across the country from Army Wellness Center to Army Wellness Center. Um, so our mission is to help give tools and support to family members and active duty to help them to meet their wellness goals. You might have noticed our volunteer for our story is our very own Garrison Public Affairs Director Chad Jones. Chad's embarking on the Healthy Chad Initiative, which we'll only refer to in the coming weeks as the HCI. Join us for weekly HCI updates as Chad uses the Wellness Center services and gives us a personal account of his experience. We'll post week one of the HCI on Facebook early next week. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.